Hello, 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 hello. Uh, hello friends, welcome to our channel where we are presenting mathematics lessons made for people doing the ACZD exams. Right, in this presentation we are dealing with trigonometry, but to be specific, you want to understand how to apply the, the sign room. You must note that with this sign room works on a non-right angle D triangle. If soccer tour works on the right angle D triangle. Okay. Now, what does the rule state? We are saying in any non-right angle triangle ABC, alright? Triangle ABC. So if you have this angle here A, alright? The side BC, which is opposite to angle A, will be denoted by a small letter A. Alright? Uh, if you have, you have angle B here, the side that is opposite to angle B, which is side AC, will be denoted by small letter B. Alright? And the, for angle C here, the side opposite to angle C is ZAB, which is the side DC. Okay? Alright? Now, the rule states that if you get A, side A here, divided by sine A. This ratio is equal to B divided by sine B. This ratio is also equal to C divided by what? Sine C. Alright? Alternatively, you can say uh, sine A divided by A is equal to sine B divided by B, which is equal to sine C divided by what? C. Alright? So take note, this is applicable to a non right angle D triangle. And again, we are not saying all these uh, should be used, all these ratios should be used at the same time. No, it depends on the situation. Now, what you need to know is where and how do I use this sign rule? Okay, so we use the sign rule in two situations. Where you have two angles given and a side. Alright? You have two angles given and a side. But that side is given to correspond to one of the angles. So you see this side is corresponding to this angle. Alright, then it works. Two sides and an angle. Uh, two, uh, two angles, sorry, and a side given. But the side given to correspond to one of the angles. So that's the first question. Two angles and a side. Okay? Then the second situation is where you have got two sides and an angle. Then the angle given at the end should correspond to one of the sides given. Alright? So you can see you have got this side and that side. This angle corresponds to that side. Okay. So in these two examples, we want to see how we can find the side and the and the angle. Okay. Alright. So now let's look at how we can find the side C and D uh, angle B here. Alright, so now for number one. Alright, so for C, you can see that you want to find this C. This side C is opposite to angle C. So you are going to say C, alright? Side C divided by sine C is equal to. Now we are going to go to a pair where both the angle and the side have been given. And in this case, is this. Alright? That is the 7 and D, this one. So here, when you look at this side, so this is C. Uh, take note. Okay. So this is A. Side A and this is side what? B. Okay? So we have B and D and B. So we are going to say B divided by sine B. Okay? Now, we want to find side C. So we say C over sine. What is angle C? Angle C is 50 degrees. Which is equal to what is B? 7. Divided by 
So I need B. What is sign B? It's 60 degrees. Alright? Then you will cross multiply. Meaning that here I'm going to say C times sine 60. So C multiplied by sine 60 degrees is equal to sine 50 degrees multiplied by what? 7. Alright? Now our interest is to get what? C. So I'll divide by sine 60 degrees even here by sine 60 degrees. So sine 60 and sine 60 will cancel. Therefore my C, my small C will be equal to, you need to divide this. Okay, so here you are going to say sine 50 multiplied by 87. You say equals the same answer you divided by sine 60. And what do you get? You get 6.19186. All right, three five one six centimeters. All right, so we round off this to to three significant figures. So we're going to say one, two, three. We cut the line here and consider and consider one as if zero. So zero plus nine, you have nine. So plus six point one nine centimeters. This is it. So I need that. I mean inside C. Alright? Now, suppose we are not asked to find the C, but uh, please, this is A, huh? Suppose we are asked to find the A. Okay. What that would have meant uh, was, or to have been, this and that. When these are added, alright? Then you list from one AD, you are going to get this arrow. Alright? So that would have meant us getting this angle, right? Getting because this plus that you get 110, right? Then you'd say 180 minus 110, you get like a 70 degrees. So you'd have used the 70 degrees here and this pair. Okay? You'd have used the 70 degrees here and that pair. Make sure that um, you need to use a, a full set. So if you're going to use a, an angle and a side, those should be given. Okay? It's very very important, right? Let's look at it. So that's how you are going to get a side here. But for paper two, in most cases, it is advisable that you round off your answer to three significant figures. Okay? Uh, let's look at the second one. So for the second one, we are required to get the angle B, which is this one, right? Now, when you look at this, we are saying this is the, the opposite side of B, and this is opposite of A, this is equal to opposite of C, alright? So, for us to get, uh, to get uh, angle B, it means we need to use angle B and side B. Then you go to this one, where, where we have a full set, okay? So, we are going to say, for number 2, we we'll say B, B divided by right sign, B. This should give us what? This ratio should be equal to uh, A divided by sine A. Right? What does this imply? This implies that uh, what is our B? Our B is 6 divided by sine B, which we want to find here. This should be equated to what is A? Side A is 15 then. So I'm going to say 15. Yeah, this has to be divided by sine 120 degrees. Alright? Then you multiply. Okay. So here, I'm going to say sine B, right? Multiplied by 15. Okay. Is equal to 6 multiplied by sine 120 degrees. Okay. Now, here our interest is to get B, alright? So we we'll divide first both sides of the equation by 15. Here also by 15. Okay. So what does this imply? This implies that sine of B is equal to um, 6 multiplied by sine 120 degrees. Uh, 
uh, divided by 15. If you want, you can use this, all right? But uh, even just like that is fine. So now, how do we how do we get this? We are going to say B now, which is the number of B, is equal to the sign inverse, all right, of 6 multiplied by uh, sign 120, all right, uh, divided by 15, all right. So, this is what you are supposed to do here, okay. Now, you see, we have the sign inverse and this sign. So you might have a lot of challenges here. So I will encourage you to get this answer first. Alright? To make your job easy. Uh, you get this answer first, then that's when you get its inverse. Okay, so here, you need to work out this one first. You need to say 6 by sign 20 divided by 15. Alright? When you do that, you will get this one. What do you have to now, sign inverse of that will be this one, okay? So you round off these two, three significant figures. So I'm going to say one, two, three, you cut there and consider six as one. One plus two, three, so I've got 20.3 degrees. That is the value of O and O, B. That's why we need for this presentation. But I'll give you an exercise, okay? Yeah.